Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We recently ran out a video talking about the three pieces of video editing software that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And you'll be able to find a link to that video on screen now. But the main update there is that I'm now using Final Cut Pro X to create these content videos. And the main reason that I'm using Final Cut Pro X is that there's next to no render time even if you're using 4K footage. To be completely honest, the first time I opened Final Cut Pro X after coming from Premiere and Avid, I absolutely hated it. It was all so backwards and so foreign to me the way that you would just do the most simple things. Uh, it was just probably more frustrating more than anything. In order to get up to speed quick and to start using Final Cut Pro X, there was three things that I needed to figure out. And they are three keyboard shortcuts that are important no matter which video editing software you're using. So the first one is Command B, and that is to cut your timeline. So whatever clip you've got selected, pressing Command B will split that clip at the point where your playback indicator is. The other two keyboard shortcuts that I needed to figure out were the keyboard shortcuts for trim, top, and tail. Now they may be called different things on different editing software, and I did a video quite a while back, I think it was one of the early ones on this channel, talking about trim, top, and tail. And I'll put a link on screen now. But the crux of it is that with this key, you press it, or combination of keys, you press it, and it will, from where the playback head is, it will either trim back to the previous cut or it will trim forward to the next cut. So that you're either trimming the top of the clip or the tail of the clip. So that's why it's called trim top and tail. So with these three keyboard shortcuts in any editing software, it should allow you to quickly cut down a huge amount of footage down to a manageable size and then refine it using the mouse if you have to or any other keyboard shortcuts in order to refine it further. But the crux to editing quickly is to get the footage down to a manageable size after you've removed all of your bad takes or any unusable footage in your timeline. The only other thing that I did in Final Cut Pro X in order to improve the workflow for what I was used to was to disable the audio and video skimming feature and I also enabled the snap tool. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a thumbs up or a comment. If not, thumb it down, we'd like the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. I'll see you next time.